Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's October 4th, 2022. We are in the New Testament, and we're going to start the book of Romans. Now, we read Romans, I think, back in March. <clears throat> uh, a couple of things. First, we read it in the New King James Version. We're going to read it in the New Living Translation. New King James, word for word, more formal. NLT, more thought for thought. So this this is a nice way to compare a verse, see how the two, two translations stack up, and maybe helps you understand it a little better uh, again we read it in March we're reading it again now we've read all about maybe two-thirds of the of the New Testament in between there so some of the things that we didn't quite understand back in March they might make more sense to you now because we've read some other things and that's the advantage of reading your Bible over and over again is it, it you start picking more up you pick more up uh, you start remembering more things so always read your Bible. That's that's my recommendation to you. So let's go ahead and we're going to read Romans chapter 1, verse 1 to 17. This letter is from Paul, a slave of Christ Jesus, chosen by God to be an apostle and sent out to preach his good news. God promised this good news long ago through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures. The good news is about his son. In his earthly life, he was born into King David's family line, and he was shown to be the Son of God when he was raised from the dead by the power of the Holy Spirit. He is Jesus Christ our Lord. Through Christ, God has given us the privilege and authority as apostles to tell Gentiles everywhere what God has done for them, so that they will believe and obey him, bringing glory to his name. And you are included among those Gentiles who have been called to belong to Jesus Christ. I am writing to you, all of you in Rome who are loved by God and are called to be his own holy people. May God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ give you grace and peace. Let me say first that I thank my God through Jesus Christ for all of you, because your faith in him is being talked about all over the world. God knows how often I pray for you. Day and night I bring you and your needs in prayer to God, whom I serve with all my heart by spreading the good news about his Son. One of the things I always pray for is the opportunity, God willing, to come at last to see you. For I long to visit you so I can bring you some spiritual gift that will help you grow strong in the Lord. When we get together, I want to encourage you in your faith, but I also want to be encouraged by yours. I want you to know, dear brothers and sisters, that I planned many times to visit you, but I was prevented until now. I want to work among you and see spiritual fruit, just as I've, I have seen among other Gentiles. For I have a great sense of obligation to people in both the civilized world and the rest of the world, to the educated and uneducated alike. So I am eager to come to you in Rome, too, to preach the good news. For I am not ashamed of this good news about Christ. It is the power of God at work, saving everyone who believes, the Jew first and also the Gentile. This good news tells us how God makes us right in his sight. This is accomplished from start to finish by faith. As the scriptures say, it is through faith that a righteous person has life. May God bless reading of his word. May God bless you. Bye.